Well, good morning. The time has arrived, 3.33. I'm not going to wait another hour and 11 minutes. The title for this morning is I Sense the Republic Rising Again. Having been provided more info from a couple of sources since yesterday's video, it seems very possible that Nasara is finally being enacted. The Republic and constitutional law restored from within D.C. itself. While Obama continues his charade as president of the defunct corporation of the United States of America, all caps, Speaker of the House, Mr. Boyner, <laughs> is the appointed and put on a short leash interim president of the Republic for the United States of America. If this is true, it may not be long before the propaganda of the mainstream news is silenced and the truth is finally told openly to the American people and the entire world. Civil war will have been averted and we will witness a peaceful transition of power to a true government of the people, by the people, and for the people. I, for one, am on the edge of my seat. The U.S., with our foundation in laws of freedom, will lead, and the rest of the world will follow, establishing real republics the world over. I don't know how many of you have heard of uh, the One People's Public Trust. I haven't read all of the documents in the trust, but what I have read is most interesting, as they are naming the Rothschild banks, which basically the Federal Reserve is one of them, as debtors to the world and demanding basically restitution from these bankers that have stolen the inheritance of the world's people and used it for their own gain and their own sadistic pleasures. I find it extremely interesting that they've served notice to the Queen and I that's about as far as in the documentation as I've seen so far but they've been taking legal measures to regain the funds necessary to establish Nasara and to establish debt forgiveness and to establish a true era of prosperity measured, yes, by money, although we will eventually see that we don't really even need that, but as a bridge, we will have lots and lots of resources, monetary resources, in which to reclaim our lives and to re-educate ourselves and to put pri priorities where priorities need to be placed. Not everyone will, will avail themselves of that at one time, obviously, but those that consider themselves light workers will be first in line to receive the funds, I'm sure, and to help facilitate the transformation of our world from a world of lies and propaganda and debt instruments to a world where we all become creditors. We all become empowered and enriched to live our lives as we can liberate ourselves from the bondage that we've been in for literally millennia, but especially for the last uh, few centuries when this conglomerate of international bankers has uh, begun its plan to take over the entire world, and they almost succeeded. But they're falling short, as not only the people that have put forth this one, uh, one people's public trust, there have been numerous people working behind the scenes to lawfully file lawsuits and other documents in the public record to reestablish the sovereignty of the individual, as well as the sovereignty of individual states and nations uh, within our world, so that we can have a republic that works, as I said, uh, by, for, uh, government of, by, and for the people. I had to look that up for a minute because I knew there was one of the prepositions that I was missing. Uh, and of course, those are Mr. 
Lincoln's words from uh, the Gettysburg Address. In any case, uh, we are on the cusp of something that is absolutely fantastic. Yesterday I did share with you uh, Mr. Boyner's comments as he addressed the 113th Congress. And several people now have told me that he has been put on a very short leash. And all of the people in, in the Houses of Congress have been warned. Some of them have been arrested and taken to the World Court in at The Hague. And it is, there's things that are happening and they seem to be gaining momentum, although the mainstream media still isn't picking it up yet. They will. They will. It will be inevitable. They will not have a choice. They will have to re start reporting the real meaty facts of what's ha what is happening on the ground as the people people's awakening is happening and as these legal documentations, these UCC-1s and other filings are taking root and being established to overturn the system. As I said, Obama continues to play his role as the uh, as the president of the corporation, but the corporation is finished. The Federal Reserve is done. International banking is coming to its end, and you're going to see reparations made. You're going to see justice happen. Not the kind of justice where we're going to kill anybody. That's not what it's about. It's not about that at all. It is about making people accountable for what they've done in committing crimes against humanity, uh, financial crimes, but more than that, crimes of, of murder, crimes of starvation, uh, crimes of poisoning uh, people through vaccinations and, medic and, and the pharm pharmaceutical industry, crimes of genetically modifying our food and making it poison, crimes of bombarding us with the uh, with waves and waves and waves of uh, of frequencies that interfere with our normal patterns of sleep and our normal patterns of living and and being human, uh, we're going to see a complete overturning of all of these chemtrails and everything else that that have been done by this uh, evil, wicked cabal that has had the their eye on the prize of dominating the entire world well their game is drawing rapidly to a close and i have a feeling that uh we will be seeing some major changes in the days and and weeks immediately ahead of us how it plays out yet we'll see we'll watch and we'll see but to me, it is very, very encouraging news, and I hope it's encouraging news to you that have longed, longed for a long time to have fairness and to have justice done and to have courts stop turning, their, turning and looking the other way. And my own court papers that I've been preparing and that I will be filing uh, today or tomorrow, uh, probably today, but some of the, some of it may not be completed until tomorrow we'll see how it pans out but i've noticed as i've mentioned before that some of the very laws that are on the books and the rules that are on the books on the one hand seem to support human rights but on the other hand they take those rights away and make the rules of more value well those type of uh, that type of what's the word that i'm looking for that type of misconception, that type of misinformation, uh, where you give with one hand and take it back with the other, uh, is going to come to an end. You're not going to have that. Uh, I can't think of the word that I'm. That's right on the tip of my tongue, but it, but I can't quite get it there. Get it to my mind to speak it out. But anyway, uh, this this whole fraudulent system that they have built uh, is going to come down. You're going to watch it come down. We're going to be liberated as human beings. Again, not everybody's going to wake up all at the same time. That would be a little bit too much. It's everybody in their own time. But there's going to be a period where we're going to be able to experience a real transition and a shift of energy to higher truths uh, it's going to be 
just an amazing time to be alive as the things that we worked for in 2011 and 2012 and actually going back even further than that are finally coming to fruition, finally becoming materialized in the real world and we're sitting as front row seats, those of us that are paying attention, we're sitting here watching with apt attention and with great joy in our hearts as we as we see things being turned around. This is an anti a reverse flow of energy. We came down, we, we experienced what it's like to live on a planet where everything is a lie, everything is twisted, everything is upside down from the way it's meant to be by our Creator. And now we're getting the opportunity to experience, to actually live in a new world, in a new era, with new priorities, new values, and our system of debt is nearly over, and we will be enriched and enlivened and encouraged. What are all these things? Uh, we will be regenerated. We will be released from the past. We will be, uh, we will be treated with respect, and we will respect each other, and we will allow for differences of opinion and differences of viewpoint, and allow each person to be where they are in their personal process of awakening, because it's going to be a time of compassion, no longer competing, no longer dog eat dog. It's going to be a new a new era, a new time. And as I said, republics will be rising, not only in America being being restored, the republic being restored, but all over the world you're going to find people setting up republics that protect the rights of each individual soul, having their own personal experience of being human, and of the evolutionary process of awakening. It's a beautiful thing. Now, you all know that I was involved in the, up until toward the end of this past year, I was involved in the Republic movement in the United States, thinking that, that Rusa was was holding the seats. And it, and it wasn't energy that was, uh, that was greatly, inf that greatly influenced what's happening. But it's going to happen from within the corporation. There's going to be an election before this year is out where we can honestly have an honest election and honestly elect people to hold offices who are going to be public servants with a heart of a servant, not serving the international bankers, not serving the cabal, not serving the black operations that, that have been going on for at least, at least for the last century but especially the last half of the last century. I mean, it's all coming to an end. The house of cards is coming down. I want you to be encouraged by that. I want you to, to stop feeling, <laughs> stop feeling the negative energies and feeling like, like it's never going to happen. It's happening. I want you to get that. I want you to hear that. I want your heart to get it. I want you to tell your cells of your body that. I want you to tell your DNA that. It's happening. The change is happening now really, really fast. And it's going to be really, really good as we shift the entire world into a higher consciousness and a higher awareness and truth and justice will prevail. And there will be mercy for all those that have followed orders and all those that have even given some of the orders to be followed by others that have been taking away people's rights. The rights are going to be restored. Our birthright is back. This is what we've waited for. This is the hour. This is the time. And we are the people that we have waited for to come along and allow the divine spirit within us to rise up and merge with our lower self so that our higher self and our lower self become married and and we become one again unified within our each within our own being and all within relationship to one another 
so that we can create peace on earth finally at long last and no more studying war no more going about seeking to take 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 but we will learn that it is more blessed to give than to receive because we will all have received and now we will get to share our prosperity with everyone else it will be an absolutely beautiful new world and that's where we are today and that's the energy that I'm feeling and that's what I'm sharing with you this morning and once again as always I do thank you for listening namaste